Hi, it's Mark from TrainSpark here. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can translate or adapt the text within the interface of your LearnDash platform. So you might want to completely translate the interface to a different language, or you might simply want to tweak some of the text or phrases to match your dialect. And we're going to show you the options to do both of those. So LearnDash is a translatable plugin. And if we head over to the, Learn, the WordPress dashboard here, then go to Learn-LMS and Settings, what we'll find is that there's a Translations option at the top here. And if we wanted to completely translate the site to a different language, we can do it on this page here. By default, you will have an installed translation, and I believe this is picked up by the language of the WordPress site that you're installing LearnDash onto. But there are, there are some available translations here that have been supplied by LearnDash and its community. And you can choose an option from here. So you might want to choose Dutch, for example, and install that onto your platform. And then once that's done, you would head over to your site settings, general. And if you haven't already done so, you would change your site's language to whatever um, language you've you've chosen there. So I will choose Dutch here from the uh, options available. And then I'll just click Save Changes. And not only will that change the interface of WordPress itself, but because we have applied that change on the LearnDash side, we'll also get the translated content around here. So you'll see that certain aspects of the course, such as your course status, back and next buttons, back to content, things like that. These have all changed to now be Dutch. So that's if you're changing the entire language of a site, but what if you just want to change certain phrases? So I'm going to change this back to English UK because that's what I'm using now. And what we find is that in the UK, certain words are spelt differently. So we might want to change something that's been spelt in the international way of doing it to a, a, a British spelling of it. And I'm going to show you how we do this now. So if we go back to the page again, we've gone back to um, a an English translation of the site. I'm going to change as an example here where it says next lesson here. So I just want to change that very specific phrase here, but none of the rest of the interface. To do that, we can install a plugin called Loco Translate. So I'm going to head back to the WordPress dashboard, go to plugins and install, or click on add new to start with, and search for loco translate. This is a popular plugin, very highly rated and has over a million active installations. I'm going to click install now to get this on my platform. Once it's installed, we can activate it. Now it's activated on the left hand side here in the menu, we'll have an option for local translate. Since we're looking at LearnDash, what I'm going to do is head to plugins. And you'll find that all of the plugins on your site are in here. And if they have translation available like LearnDash does, they will have the option for you to be able to tweak certain bits of text. So I'm going to choose LearnDash LMS we can see here we've got the English and Dutch, English United States and Dutch options available. I'm going to create a new one here by clicking new language. And you can select here the language that you want to translate to. I'm going to choose English UK here, but you can also ch you know, choose from different ones here or create your own custom language. And then just click start translating. And what this will do is bring up an interface like this where we've got a full list of all the bits of text in the LearnDash interface 
And within each of those, you can select one and create your own al alternative version of it. So I was searching for next lesson. If I search here for next, there's something here which says next lesson like that. So um, we've got placeholder lesson and it's next and then it's got this percentage S meaning there's a, a word after this. Um, this percentage S is where you would see the lesson part and we've got the next before it. So I'm going to say, I'm going to add some text after that. So I'll say next and then percentage sign S, which is what, where the lessened, lesson bit would appear. And I'll say after this one. Um, and now I'm going to click save. And I'll head back to the uh, Learn Dash interface now and then refresh it. And it, you can see at the top here, it's changed now. So it says next lesson after this one. There's another example. I'll scroll down and we've got here back to course. I'll do the same for that. Back to. So we're looking for in here back to course. I'm just going to choose it from this list. And then if we, was, we can maybe say here back to my, and then we put instead of course percentage sign S. And now we click save. And I'll head back to my interface now. And we are expecting that to say back to my course. So I'm just going to refresh that now. And there, that's changed. So that's just a really cool plugin that you can use to just tweak certain bits of text to your own language if you want to do that. Or via Learn Dash, you've got the option to completely change the interface into a different language altogether. We hope, this find, we hope you find this useful and that it helps you translate your course content. And if you like this video, please do give it a like and subscribe using the button in the bottom right hand corner of this video. Thanks.